these conditions that life expect, you must know, as I, as I said, 70 percent uh, unemployment would eventually give rise to poverty. This is, we have 232 of these informal settlements in Ketna. We have four townships. So it means that the, the majority of black people in Cape Town stays under these conditions. That is the toilet, as I said, those blue out houses, wow. which is occupied, uh, that which is used by 18 families, and we speak about six to eight people in a family. We, um, and of course those toilets, and have them to be visited by our young girls in the middle of the night, which makes them completely vulnerable. Um, we, yeah, they become extremely vulnerable using those toilets at night time. We have one tap, as I've said, to a thousand people. We don't pay for water, so you will see uh, that it is for for young boys it gives them then the opportunity to run car car clean um, clean spots for cars yeah car washes straight through you're gonna turn left at Palmer Avenue Seventy percent unemployment gives rise to poverty, which also then gives rise to high levels of diseases. And life expectancy inside here is 47 years. Children between the uh, 30 percent of our children between the ages of 0 to 5 doesn't reach the age of five. And about a third of our children will be born, are born with HIV. <coughs> we are fortunate now. Africa has become the guinea pig for many of the medicines that they are testing. And we can thank Bill Gates for his ARVs. And whatever, and of course, because of the high levels of, of, of poverty, you will find many of my people will also go to become guinea pigs because they will get the stipends to be injected. <coughs> so, that, so that for the healing of the West, many of my people living in these townships will be aided by West, Western medicine to determine how this medicine is working so that they can use it on the other side. When I spoke about us being in, into ancestral worship, means that we won't, of course, give up our bodies for, or body parts, we are not into organ donations, um, which becomes a challenge because we still identify very much with the reservations because that is where our forebears and our ancestors were buried. So whenever there is death in our communities, we will have to take these bodies back to Transkai, which means it's very costly to die as a black because they will then of course have to take the bodies back to the eastern gate yeah at the next one you will as we take the turn you will see some of these trailers these trailers which will be used that is used for taking the bodies especially saturdays fridays now yeah yeah are these trailers these, these are the trailers that will be taking the bodies down to the reservations. It's a huge business. 
in our country. And, and another another interesting point, as I've said, our young boys go for the rite of passage and it, it entails at the next one to your right. Um, which entails circumcision. Some of these circumcisions can go broad, which means you can have, you're going to turn right here, um, you can lose not only your foreskin, but you can lose everything um, because of the diseases. And of course, um, sometimes of the diseases that the boys carry. Now, our white counterparts, our what? They do donate their bodies. And what uh, a nice interesting story was a few years ago, a few years ago, we had this young boy who lost part of his penis. And South Africa became the very first country in the world that successfully transplanted a penis. Of course, it is, was the penis of a white man. So we have now a South African that has a penis of a white person on his body and he said it is working. And now for those young boys that is in the booth, there is hope whenever there is part circumcisions, there is hope that they will still be taken care of. See, this is a sewage and look at the kids playing over there. And there's a sewer overflowing over there. Okay, here we are at the restaurant across the way, 605. So, wakey wakeys, all the sleeping beauties.
Yeah, you can again leave everything. Come on, give me the surprise, Mr. Donnie. Absolutely, you uh, awesome. Alright, everyone, Wiki Wiki. Let's get some eat. Mr. Man, let's, let's go get you some food to eat. Oh, oh South African Alright, let's start. Hold on. Uh, uh, son, uh, okay. connect with Bernard. Oh, yeah. Connect with Uncle Bernard. Say, uh, Uncle, look out for me. <laughs> Careful! Why don't you guys hold a little scope? Hold a little scope, please. Go, please. Oh, thank you. New way. Is that really going to Harari? Is that going to Harari? No, Harari, Harari will be a, a, a township down, a, 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 a suburb here. You know, we will name, we will name the places after some of the important places outside. You know, Harari, when we were still oppressed, Zimbabwe got its independence, right, right. and so Harari is going to be a big name right? because Harari before was known as Salisbury, so. And we're gonna get rid of the English name and, and celebrate the Harari to it. But perfect, and repeat what township we're in again? Yes, yes, this way. The township? Yes. The township is a dormitory for Africa for, for migrant laborers. And, no. the and this township is called Kaya Licha. Kaya, Kaya, Kaya meaning home. Kaya Licha. Licha meaning new. So well, Kaya Licha means new home. Well, thank yeah. you for helping me pronounce it. Kaya Licha. Kaya Licha. Yeah. Kaya Licha. Hello, yes, hello, hello. How are you doing? I'm doing well. We are ready Thanks. for lunch. Please come through the forum because culture. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Greetings, greetings, my brother. I'm doing well. We're in the township. Yes. We're in it. Sit, let's order what you want, Mr. Man. Absolutely, but you cannot go over there without someone taking you over there. Well, he wants to go. He needs go. to get his bag. Okay, let me go. Everybody's up now, yes, yes. What? No, we're not. Everybody's locked up. No. I see her laughing. So that's what we are eating at lunch and. Okay. All right, all right, are you feeling? <laughs> oh, yeah, I was just telling them, uh, you gotta go with an adult. This is... Coming. Yes, fam, we're in the township over in Cape Town, and uh, what you're gonna see, the you know, you're in Cape Town, you know, all you see is mountains around. Mr. Bomani, yes, you gotta be careful, roads are different around here. Four room foods. Alright, so family, the journey continues.